Watch this entire video and I'll bet you will be able to find R and R minus 1's complement in just 20 seconds. Just 20 seconds. So no time waste, quickly jump to the video. Okay, so first thing that we are going to understand is why complement matters. Basically, it's useful in simplifying the subtraction operation. The 2's complement is commonly used to represent the negative number in digital electronics. Complements are also used in error detection and error correction techniques like checksum method and cyclic redundancy checks. If you have proper understanding of complements, it helps in optimizing the circuit by simplifying the logic circuits for addition and subtraction operations. So overall, understanding of complements is really crucial in digital electronics and that is what we are going to do in this video. So now let's understand the complements. Basically, the complements are of two types. The first is R's complement and this R's complement is also known as the Radix complement or the other name of this method is Bayes complement. The second type of complement is R-1's complement and this method is known as diminished radix complement or diminished based complement. So these are the two complements for any number system. For example, if we talk about decimal number system, the radix for decimal number system is 10 or the base of decimal number system is 10. So if R is equal to 10, then the R's complement of this decimal number system is 10. So it is known as tens complement. If we talk about r minus 1's complement, then r minus 1 gives us 10 minus 1, that is 9. So r minus 1's complement of decimal number system is 9's complement. So that is why we get tens and 9's complement in decimal number system. Now if we talk about binary number system, then what is the radix or base of binary number system? That is 2. So if the base is 2, what is the R's complement? It is 2's complement. And now if we talk about R minus 1's complement, then 1 minus 1 gives us 1. So R minus 1's complement for binary number system is 1's complement. And that is the reason why we have 2's and 1's complement in binary number system. If we talk about octal number system, then the radix is 8. So R's complement is 8's complement and R minus 1's complement is 7's complement. If we talk about hexadecimal number system, here the base is 16. So we have 16's complement as R complement and 16 minus 1 that gives us 15. But in hexadecimal number system, we do not write 15. Instead of 15, what do we write? It's F. So we'll call it F's complement instead of 15's complement. So like this, if the number system with the any base or with any radix is given to you, you can find what is the R's and R-1's complement for that method. For example, here we'll talk about, uh, let's say base number 23 or the number method which has the base of 23. So the base is 23. So radix R is equal to 23. So the R's complement is 23. And if we talk about R-1's complement, that is 22. So number system with the base of 23, we have 23's complement and 22's complement. So these are the two complements that we get for this number system. So like this, you can find R and R-1's complement of any number system. And now we are going to understand how to find R and R-1's complement for decimal, binary, hexadecimal and octal number system. So let's jump into that section. So now here we'll understand how to find the R's complement of any number. So first we'll take an example. This is the number 543 and it is the decimal number. So how to find the R's complement? So the equation to find the R's complement is R raised to N minus capital N. What does it mean? R represents the radix or base. Here you can see the base is 10. So in this equation, you should consider R as 10. Now the next is small n. And that is basically the number of digits. How many numbers of digits are there in this number? So here there are total three digits. So n is equal to three. And if we talk about capital N, that is basically the given number. So what is the given number? The number is 
five four three. So this is the equation, and we use this information to find the R's complement of this five four three. So now I think it's clear to you that what is the meaning of R small n and capital N. So now we'll jump to find the R's complement of this number. In normal exam or competitive exam, it could be asked like this: that find the R's complement of this number. So first, you should write what is the equation of R's complement. It is R s to n minus n. So what each quantity represent? Here R is ten, n is three, and capital N is five four three. That we have just found in our previous understanding. So now we'll place all the values in this equation. R is ten, so we'll take ten. Small n is three, so we'll take three, and minus capital N is five four three. So ten raised to three is one thousand minus five four three. So we get four five seven. So this number four five seven is the R's complement. R's complement means what? Basically, it is the tenth complement of five four three. To find R's complement is little bit easy when the decimal number is given. But when binary, octal, or hexadecimal number is given, then it is little bit tricky. So here I am going to give you a short trick to find the R's complement in any number system. In any number system. So the trick is like this. What are you supposed to do? So first you should write x x x to the base ten minus five four three. Why the base is ten? Because this number is of base ten, and that is why we are taking ba base ten. Now, what this x means? X is the largest digit of the decimal number system. Decimal number system starts from zero, goes to nine. There are total ten digits in number system, right? So, what is the largest digit? It is nine. So, x is equal to nine. So, here you should write nine 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 minus five four three. If you subtract this, you will get four five six. This answer is basically the ninth complement of this five four three. When you add one to this, you will get the tenth complement. So the answer is four five seven. So here you can see the answer is matching. So here what you supposed to do? Here you only supposed to write the largest digit, which is nine 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 in decimal, and then just subtract this number from nine nine nine. Now to better understand the R's complement, let's take another example, and this time we are going to deal with octal number system. So we supposed to find the eighth complement of one two six four. So what is the equation? The equation is R s to n minus n. What is R here? R is eight because that is the radix of our number system. So R is equal to eight. Then what is small n? It is the total number of digits. So it is four. There are total four digits. And what is capital N? That is the number one two six four. So here we have n. So once we place all these values, the equation looks like this: eight raised to four minus one two six four. But here, one very important thing that you should keep in your mind: that eight raised to four is in decimal. This four zero nine six, which is the answer of eight raised to four, but this number is in decimal. But the number one two six four is in octal. So first, you supposed to convert this decimal number into octal number. So octal equivalent to this number is one zero zero zero. If you don't know how to convert decimal number into octal number system, then you can watch my previous video where I have explained this thing with very simple tricks, right? So here we supposed to subtract this number from this number. But it's not that much easy. So let's understand it this way. So here we supposed to do zero minus four, but it is not possible. So we'll ask borrow from the next number. So up to here all are zero. So we supposed to ask borrow from this one. So if we ask borrow from one, that becomes eight into the next stage. Here it is one, but we have taken one as a borrow to the next stage. So what's left? It's zero. So here we have eight, and we are going to take one as a borrow. So once we take a borrow to this number, we have eight over here, and the seven will be left over here. Here we'll do the same thing. We'll take borrow, so it's eight over here, and seven will be left. Again, we'll do the borrowing. So eight is here, and seven will be left. Now we have to subtract eight minus four. So we have four. Seven minus six. So we have one. Seven minus two, so we have five. 
7 minus 1 so we have 6 and 0 minus 0 so we have 0 so this subtraction is 6514 and if you are not clear how to do the octal subtraction or arithmetic operations in octal number system then you can refer my other videos to understand the same thing with easy examples but here we are not going to discuss it in detail so now let's move ahead so the subtraction is 6514 and this is the R's complement of this number but now the same thing we are going to solve using the trick so let's solve this example using my trick first you're supposed to write xxxx of octal minus 1 to 6 4 now what this x means it is the largest digit of octal number in previous example we have taken the largest digit of decimal number why because the decimal number is given but right now we are taking the largest number of octal because we are dealing with the octal number system so what is the largest number in octal number system that is 7 so we are going to write 7777 minus 1 to 6 4 now here you can do direct subtraction very easily 7 minus 4 7 minus 6 7 minus 2 7 minus 1 so the answer is 6513 and this answer is the seventh complement of this number now what we supposed to do we supposed to add 1 to get 8's complement of this and when we add 1 we get 6514 as the 8's complement of this number now let's take the example of binary number system to understand it even better so here the number is 10111 and we supposed to find 2's complement of this number so let's write the equation it is rs to n minus n let's write the r small n and capital n here i want you to pause the video and write r small n capital n by yourself before i tell in this video so here r is equal to 2 n is equal to 5 and capital n is equal to 10111 so now let's place all the values in this equation 2 raised to 5 minus 1 to 6 4 2 raised to 5 is 32 but that 32 is in decimal and this number is in binary so you supposed to convert this 32 decimal from binary and then subtract this number from that binary number so the binary of 32 is 1000000 minus 10111 so let's do this subtraction so here you're supposed to subtract 0 minus 1 but it is not possible so what we'll do we'll take borrow and when we take borrow from this 1 to here it becomes 10 what's left here nothing it's 0 now again we'll take borrow from here so it's 10 here and it is 1 here again take borrow so it's 10 here 1 here again do the same thing so 10 here 1 here do the same thing so 10 here and 1 over here now you're supposed to subtract this 10 minus 1 so it is 1 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 0 1 1 minus 1 0 so this is the answer 1 0 0 1 if you are confused that how to do the binary subtraction then you can refer this video to understand the binary subtraction but right now we are not going to discuss it in detail but now we'll jump to the next stage so the subtraction is 1001 and that is the 2's complement of this binary number now we'll do the same thing using the trick so in first step what are you supposed to do you supposed to write x x x x x to the base 2 minus 10111 now in binary number system what is the largest number it is 1 so you supposed to write all the ones of binary minus 10111 now in this the subtraction is quite simple it's 01000 and basically it is the ones complement of this number now what we supposed to do we supposed to add 1 to this number and we'll get this as the answer as the 2's complement of our number 1001 which is the same as the previous one so that's how you can get the r's complement of any number system if randomly any number is given to you with any base system you can use this equation to solve that example now it's time to go for r minus 1's complement 
So we'll understand r minus 1's complement with the same method. For example, this is the number 543 to the base 10. So now we want to find r minus 1's complement. So first we should get what is the equation for that. The equation for r minus 1 is this r raised to n minus 1 minus capital N. Here r small n capital N means the same as the previous method as r is radix or base which is 10 the small n is the number of digits which is 3 and the capital N is the given number which is 5 4 3. So using this equation we are going to find the r minus 1's complement of this number. So first of all the number is 543 to the base 10 and we are supposed to find the r minus 1's complement of this number. So what is the equation r s to n minus 1 minus capital N. So we'll write each of the quantity r is 10 small n is 3 and capital N is 543. So we'll place all these values in this equation and we'll get 10 raised to 3 minus 1 minus 543 where 10 raised to 3 is 1000 minus 1 minus 543. So it's 999 minus 543 and the answer is 456 is the ninth complement of this number 543. Now we are going to solve the same example using the trick, the trick that we have previously seen. For the trick, you are supposed to write trick and then the equation xxx to the base 10 minus 543. And what is the meaning of x? The largest digit of that number system. In decimal number system, the largest digit is 9. So we will write 999 minus 543 and that is 456. And that is the directly ninth complement of the number. Isn't it very simple? Right? So this trick is quite simple and very helpful when you want to quickly calculate the r or r minus 1's complement of any number system. Now let's solve one more example to understand it better. The example is like this. We are supposed to find the seventh complement of this number. So we'll write the equation. We'll write all the values. R is 8, N is 4, and capital N is 1, 6, uh, sorry, 1, 2, 6, 4. When we place all the values in this equation, it seems like this. 8 raised to 4 is 4, 0, 9, 6 to the base 10, minus 1, and then it is in octal. First, we'll convert this decimal number into octal number, and then we'll subtract this one from the number system. So it's 7777 7, 7, 7, and when you subtract this number from this number, you will get 6513. The same example we'll solve using our trick. So first you're supposed to write xxxx minus 1264. In octal number system, what is x? x is the largest digit in that number system. In octal, that number is 7. So we'll write 7777 7, 7, 7, minus 1264. If you subtract, you will get 6513 directly will get the answer. So using this trick you can solve the 7's complement or any r minus 1's complement in 20 seconds. It will not take more than 20 seconds. I think you have learned many things from this video and if you want to verify that how much you have learned just solve these examples and write the answer in comments below. If you want to learn anything else about digital electronics, you can watch this playlist or if you want to talk to me, if you want to discuss with me, you can join my telegram group and talk to me anytime. And yeah, if you have enjoyed, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this video.